How's it going, everybody? Dylan Johnson here. Welcome to another workout of the day. Today, we're going to be focusing on an arm workout. So starting off, as usual, we're going to be starting off with a nice dynamic warm up. For this, what I actually decided to do was use a couple different movements for the triceps and biceps to kind of warm things up. So here I'm doing some single arm cable extensions and just really focusing on that form, keeping my elbow and my bicep, um, my, or sorry, not my elbow, but my tricep, my bicep, my upper arm isolated in place and just pumping some blood into that tricep. Keep the weight kind of light and just focus on warming everything up. Get those joints moving, get the blood flowing. Then we're gonna jump straight into some hammer curls. So again, this is strictly to warm up three or four sets, whatever you feel comfortable with, just to kind of get the blood flowing, get a little bit of a sweat going. You see, I've got my hoodie on and we're just kind of focusing on getting things moving. So for this, whatever reps you want to feel like you need to do, I prefer to do like around 12 to 15. Again, keeping the weight really light, just focusing on the form, focusing on giving everything going. Now, once I finish my warm up, I'm going to jump straight into the first kind of heavy working exercise. And that's going to be some cable press down. So as you can see here, I've got a straight bar on the cable machine. And I'm going at about 10 to 12, maybe 15 reps if the weight's a little bit light and really focusing on forcing down at the bottom, lock out, squeeze those triceps, get the blood pumped into them as much as possible. And then back up to the start. When you come up to the top, really focus on full range of motion compress those biceps so you get a stretch in the tricep that's really good. Now with that, once you finish there, I'm gonna move into some barbell curls. So on this, yes I am in a squat rack, but this is one of the like rogue uh, CrossFit racks, so there's nobody over here squatting, so don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm all right curling in the squat rack for this time. So as you can see here, really focusing on slow controlled form. I'm not swinging the weight up. You know, it looks like a lot of weight. Those are just 10 pound bumper plates, so it's only like six to five pounds. But we're gonna focus on around six to eight reps, keeping a little bit heavier. And again, control those negatives, especially real slow to let it stretch out those biceps. Four sets, six to eight reps, keeping the weight a little heavier. And then we're going to move into another tricep exercise. So this is going to be some dumbbell skull crushers. So big thing with this is notice the position of the dumbbells. A lot of people will have them come down like level with their ears. I'm keeping my palms behind my head and I'm also letting my palms rotate down towards the floor. You can see there down towards the floor at the bottom of the movement to allow for a more natural um, kind of range of motion. And then as I'm coming up, I twist them, squeeze those triceps. Gives you a little bit more range of motion, more dynamic movement, and lets you really activate the triceps. Again, four sets on that, around six to eight, maybe 10 reps, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Then we're gonna jump into another exercise, and these two are gonna be super set together. You're gonna just sit up and go straight into some alternate dumbbell curls. So again, kind of heavy, focus on around six to eight, maybe 10 reps per arm, whatever you feel comfortable doing, and just pump them out. Really focus on the controlled movements. Try not to swing the weight, try not to do anything too crazy. You notice as I start to fatigue, I swing a little bit, but still focusing on controlling, especially those negatives. Now, once I finish with that, then I'm going into another superset. So with this, I'm also doing something a little bit different. You notice I've got my wrist wraps and I've actually wrapped them around the upper portion of my arm, just below my um, armpit. So what we're doing is we're gonna be something doing something called occlusion training or blood flow restriction training. What this involves is taking something like a wrist wrap or um, some kind of band and basically tying it around your arm and not fully cutting off the circulation. You don't wanna to tourniquet your arm. You wanna just kind of compress it to where it prevents some of the blood from flowing back into um, back from your arm. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you an extreme pump. I mean like a crazy pump. So with this, I'm super setting triceps with biceps. So I've got, again, kind of that cable press down immediately into some hammer curls here with the cables and just kind of pumping them out 15 reps per exercise. Once I'm finished, I'm resting only about 15 to 20 seconds. Keep the rest period super low so that intensity stays extremely high. And then you're gonna do five sets of that. Just pump it out. That's gonna be the workout. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.